so strong on normal that they're gonna take out Cosmo with all this nonsense. Good grief. Time for some more Vampire Survivors. Beswick will be messing around with Cosmo Pavona over on everyone's favorite dairy plant stage. Inlay library, no dairy plant. Da -da -da. Who could possibly guess going a heal build with Cosmo? Biggest shock of the world. These are not things I want. The weapons are better to get as they are much more in competition. Yay, I got my weapons already. Oh, right, he gets three. Oh, I don't have my weapons already. The hidden one doesn't count. It doesn't count. Why? Because I say it doesn't count. See, it's not there on the weapon chart, so clearly it shouldn't count. Who could possibly guess what my third one's gonna be? Oh, right. Oops. Well, no, I... Hmm. Well, either way, I've got a bunch of weapons that scale off Cosmo's ever-scaling stats. Sharp Tongue will be here eventually, and I will be banishing the Imposter, because I completely forgot about it ahead of time. So no Imposter Tongue, just Sharp Tongue, but that'll still get the recovery bonus. And nothing else on the map to care about. Let's get XP, then run towards them Atlanteans. Take it. Over up first. Man, that heal is big. Even at this level. 11.24. Oh, get all that luck. He gets lost between the health regeneration, but he still does get increased luck with each level. Which still leads it to its own little brand of silliness. So let's see which one of these high scaling luck, high scaling with Cosmo stat things can show off the most. There's my Plumrola. Clearly it's going to be the most effective and important of these all. Never mind that Cosmo gets that per level. Extra one from this will do so much. Next 100% damage on the sharp tongue, after all. There's my first chest at three minutes in, so the two minute enemy actually didn't drop it. Sharp tongue's not evolving, so get cross and BFC up. I wanted to get actually two chests together so that way I could evolve them at the same time and put them side by side and see how they go. Throw that everything in action. No, well, let's get rid of you guys. You're too scary. Oh, hi, merchant. 27 health. Okay, we're four minutes in. The boss should be up by now. Right? Right? Give me that other chest already. Did it show and die and just didn't off the chest? That sounds like something that would happen to me. Here we go. Alrighty, let's put them together. See which one pulls off the miracle. Base frequency. Don't need cooldown. I'll random always. Doesn't much matter to me, even though a mount on the BFC would be great. 
Oh. Damage. Spicy. I can't just run through enemies like I could with some others. Even though he'll heal back. 27 health is not a lot. Whoever could have known that. It's funny when you get more regeneration than he has health. Oh wait, now that I think about it, I could get Super Candy Box 2 Turbo. Which will probably be inevitable with his level of luck. Which should be inevitable, and then just imposs the tongue off that. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch up Pumrola for the mini for the rest, because, well, Pumrola is terrible. Probably should have gone Silent Old Sanctuary. Oh, that'll help. Square dancing skeletons. Oh, wow, I messed up where I was badly there. Stalker, cuz why wouldn't he be here? No, oh, and I suppose Sarabande still has the ability to do the most. What with the whole doing 98 damage a pulse. Huh, no candy box yet, jeez. Those still probably would have gotten trillions of damage even if I hadn't taken Paranormal Scanner. It doesn't contribute that much at that point. But hey. That was an incredibly niche scenario. Huh. Alright, Arcana Bat should be up soon. Whatever drops the Arcana here. I think oh, Magna's the only one that isn't a bat. No, it's a skull in Gallo Tower. It's a bat in three levels, and then Eyeball and Capella Magna, when it's also not a bat. The eyes have it. There's a bat. Okay, give me my silent old sanctuary. All the way at the end, huh? Is that any cooldown? Still pretty dang high. Wow, you do not want to spawn in at all. Okay, now you're basically always up, so that's nice. Yep, you got taken out in no time. Wow, no candy boxes. But other characters just have them thrown at them endlessly, but character with actual luck is getting nothing. Oh, right, Stalker was on the map at one point. What happened to him? Man, I think the cooldowns now actually low enough that I can run through mobs or just keep going I don't have to stop to wait for clearance this is working out so far uh oh damage Whoa, that was close. Too close for comfort. So it was uncomfortable for the bird. Oh, barely would have tracked orb. Should I... Slash works, right? 
And what else would I get? Awake? I don't really need awake. I don't actually have that many level options considering, so let's get this vacuum and fix that. Oh, NFT, nice. That'll get me straight to the Atlantean. Yeah, kill count's actually pretty dang low. I'm way behind. I hit 100k before the end of the match. Round, stage. Man, every time. It's the whole gay day I go without doing any of this hiccuping or gasping for air or any of this. But as soon as the mic turns on, bam. It's every five minutes. Heck. Before I started recording, I don't think I'd sneezed in months. Now it's like once a week. It's crazy. Up, oh, down. Down, down, into the ground. You did not last long at all, eh, Mr. Lantian? No, they can't really get in on me, but I can run into them. I'm just going too fast. Still, between these three sources of incredible damage, not even the robot should be able to get through. And I got the Cerebonde pulses on the back end, too. Really, I've got four weapons. Ha ha ha. No Arcana chest yet. Nice and easy. Take it to a nice little lofty glide. And nearly die along the way. I oh, can't heal through that star burst. Perhaps I should grab awake, just in case. All right. The middle golems are going down. Oh yeah, that figures. Why rain when it can burst? Ooh, I'm seeing 10,000 hits here. Sharp tongue is going crazy. Speaking of going crazy, will you be crazy enough to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Finger gun. You know what? Actually, if you've actually subscribed or commented if someone actually asked you to, you know what? Give me a holler. It's really hard to tell if that actually works. Or if just everyone is just making it up about that. All the way at the end again, eh? Oh, I can be a little bit more confident charging forth. Well, oh, striding forth. Well, no gliding forth. Not a single candy box. Crazy. Not even that impressive a toasty. Well, it shouldn't be a very impressive toasty considering this is Cosmo. Be very weird if it was. Yet yeah, it's still clearing things through with no issue. Yep, overshot. Fun fact, Cosmo is named after something I don't know what. Perhaps the Cosmos. But it's definitely named after something. So that is for sure a fact.
You did not last long at all, Mr. Atlantean. Neither did you, Mr. Boss Armor. Well, that's what five digit damage does to you. Can only do so much with Slash in action. About Slash with Heaven's Sword. Heaven's Ward? More like Heaven's Sword. Ha ha! Oh man. I read a post about someone saying how ugly WoW looked compared to Final Fantasy XIV and like, man, I just hate XIV style. It looks so terrible to me. Everyone looks like plasticky. Wow, it was incredibly cartoonish, but still. The orangutan features for the guys. Man, it still looks more palatable than 14 with all its weird plasticky people. The sunken collarbone has never occurred to them. All the trailers I've seen for it look so lame. You got it. I know some of them. Oh, yep, knew that was coming. I can know some of the wow cinematics for the expansions aren't that great, but still. I think even the worst of them is better than the best of the ones from 14. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you'll on sub because of it. Who knows? Who knows? Far more important thing is probably most people won't even get to this part. And I see those retention numbers. Terrible. I'm so bad at content. Yep, even the big bots can't do anything. Well, provided I stay still and not run into them. Wow. Oh, grab, good thing I grabbed a wake. Jeez. Well, that should not have happened. Oh wait, I want to get that clover. Yay, clover. Oh well, might as well max out my level. Oh, I got the oral in here. No. Or why? Hmm, it actually came close to 100k than I thought it would. Well, let's see how well all the weapons perform. With some more extra death punching on the back end. One more revive. And this Cosmo joins his brethren. Whatever that means. Yep, Sharp Tongue comically outperformed the other ones. That should really come as no surprise. And Heaven Sword outbeat BFC. Probably because I wasn't getting any amount on BFC, but there it goes. And Cosmo will be heading to, not Dairy Plant again, he'll be heading over to Laboratory. Let's show off some more of that sweet, sweet Vampire Service action, this time with Sign Old Sanctuary from the start. Oh yes. Good. Cross. That will actually help. Because these will have issues. Severe issues. No, I didn't even check out what Cervante did. Huh. Oh, there was the other weapon I needed to... And there, this third one... Well, at the very least... Wait, I took out Pomerola, so we're going full and pasta tongue here. See how that compares if Sharp Tongue did that much alone. Woohoo! Cross them off the list. They're getting crossed. I don't think there's early evolutions, but let's hold out till check. 
Robots. No, not robots. Doesn't require max clover. Just max cross to get the heaven sword. AI generated, yes, that's totally what it looks like. Bad AI generated, too. Speaking of absolutely nothing related to anything happening on screen, today is a day of the week. Did you know they were named after ancient gods? This is Friday, which is Fear's Day. Good old Norseman. Gotta love Thor and his ilk. And if you don't, what's wrong with you? Tuesday is Deer's Day. And I have no idea what the other rest of them are. Saturday is Saturday. I uh, kind of doubt that. Why am I not skipping that? Huh. The first chest can of all, but the later ones can. Oh, hi, merchant. Tongue's already going off the charts here. Train. I like double trains if you're fast enough. Probably. So that's more like a Mask of Red Death or Queen Sigma kind of time. Well, I should not have grabbed that till I maxed out. Oh, go away, robot. The power of the slash. Alright, let's see if you can keep up, Evan Sword. Well, I am. Probably not, but you gotta try it anyway. Very little can compete with the weapon that gets a multiplier on stats. And it even gets plus one might, too. Well, that's not great. All right, I should open a door and cause weird graphical issues for no reason. I actually should just stay still till I get enough my other evolutions. Oh, hey, it's the Santa Javelin. Oh, oh, hey, the mean imposters in line with the birds. So I guess if you get all the minis and the birds. And the Gemini birds have like an entire army of dudes following you. Oh, you didn't double them all. One more sword is better. On the other hand, the, when the tongue's hitting for 4k, hard to do anything about that. What's that? 32,000? Yep, 32,000 from... The uh, Impostor Tongue Super Blast. And also, the birds are here. Oh, cleared out everything. Yep, it's 32s. 14,000. Slash damage. 
And of course, BFC is completely screwed in these circumstances. Really more reliant on being your sole source of damage just due to how thin its area is comparison to a lot of these other weapons. Well, without gigantic levels of amount, or area, amount is for damage. Mmm, chicken. Mm. You know, I hope... You know what, I'm gonna deliberately come here with Mask of the Red Death. Get up as much speed as I can get. Oh, that was quick. You're the one that bounces swords right now. Then you must be here. There we go. The swords, they will keep bouncing forever. Let's see if you can actually beat out Imposter Tongue now. You got that sheer volume attacks going for you. Yeah, I'm definitely going to come here with Mask of the Red Death, grab wings, run as fast as possible to try and see how far I can catch up with the drain if possible. See if it despawns or just keeps going forever. Fifty-two thousand. Crazy damage. Oh, 79k. Oh, hey, now I get a candy box. Jeez. And I don't need it. And I could get Armadillo and another passive, but that is against the rules that I ignore whenever I feel like it. Like when I get a... Anima with someone from a golden finger. 61k. And always remember, Toasty could do so much more than this, and this is one of the strongest easy builds you can get. Just need to put in a little bit of effort and BAM. Toasty's getting you to the trillion mark. Imagine how much better it would have been without Hurry On. Would I have been able to reach that legendary 1 million kill marker? Possibly. Which if it wasn't for the Bezwick, I might actually try to do just to show it off. You know, I should probably turn off eggs. Because, you know, four health. That's so broken for Toasty. You can actually take a hit at the start. Really, it made all the difference. Well, it probably didn't make some difference. But still, really just helped it get off the ground in a sensible time frame. Hey, the crack orb. That's nice. I miss getting sleep. Hard to keep track of the numbers again, but I think I'm hitting six digits in here somewhere. 84,000s, yep, there was 100Ks. Yeah, they're not beating the imposter tongue. There's not any chance of that happening. Multiplier is a ridiculous thing. And it isn't even close to the power can pull off. Just because I've limited myself so... I mean, a moral law damage is still going to be more wings too, geez. It's going to be more than spinach gives you. That's another multiplier. And armor, geez, so many things have shown up now all of a sudden. Oh, the many tri blunders are getting annihilated. As you'd expect from this. Oh, I didn't grab a wake. Oh, still, I have four revives because Cosmo. The weapon pickup and the power up. 
And Cosmo. Dean Cosmo. Ouch, that hurt. And there is the stone mask. On a normal one, that would mean 10, 18 passives. No, it'd be 19 passives because I'd have gotten Armadillo from Candy Box. Heck, it would have meant 20, actually, at this point. That's a bit many. Oh god, am I... Are they still so durable, so strong, on normal, that they're gonna take out Cosmo with all of this nonsense? Good grief. What a ridiculous final wave. Even Cosmo with all his ridiculous power. 308 million. And only 10 minutes stage, eh? Yep, BFC is really something you need. Do as a solo weapon, because boy. Boy, is it not performing well when it has to compete. Hey, for to why do I keep saying Toasty? Time for Cosmo to take a nice relaxing trip over to Vampire Survivor's Moonglow. Uh, no difficulties on Moonglow. Just relaxation and a guaranteed win. Yay, it's a clover. And enemies that do no damage. Empty Tome, don't mind if I do. Played crossbow, you'll never evolve here. There's only so much you can do. Yep. Mm hmm hmm Chicken time. Oh, should get luck up first too to get all that four chancing. Luck increases your chance of getting four on the level up screen instead of three. And probably the same thing with limit break. If you're going for really specific limit break strats. Could be an option. I mean, BFC does scale with it, so... It probably can't compete with Imposter Tongue anyway, or in Sharp Tongue. But you do have the option of running it. There we go, the tongue is sharp. The snakes are eaten. That's how you know Cosmo is a bird. Snake eater. Wait, the, I'm probably not going to get the Snake Eater Delta. Yeah, it looks nice and all. Uh, Lightning Engine looks really great, in fact. But, eh, I've had my fill of Metal Gear. Tried to replay five uh, a few years back. And just kind of too frustrating for me. Like that mission with all the skulls at the airport. They can't shoot them at all. You have to just melee counter them, but, you know. My reflexes are trash combined with the usual situation. Eventually scummed it by using big guns and weren't trying to run them over. Still. Just at that point, it stops becoming fun. It just baffles me, the inconsistencies that always seem to feel. Like, you know that one guy that did no gunning and stuff for like every mission? 
tried to ghost every mission too. He just kept running them over, over and over and over again. It just worked. Well, when I tried that, it never did. It's sort of my problem with Liza. That I would watch streamers play it and the bosses would just have these enormous pauses between their attack strings and like that was never how it was for me. It was just attack, 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 attack and I could never get anything in. As you know, blocking hurts you in that game. So they want you to parry, but parry timing is weird and bad. Ooh. Then I'd only have enough time for one attack, even if I didn't heal. It was just like... Ugh. That was the whole game. I just phantom summoned on every boss. I didn't like it. Excellent mood, though. Very excellent mood. The boss gameplay just... Incredibly awful. Here I go talking about games that aren't Vampire Survivors again. But hey, it's Moonglow. There's not much to talk about on Moonglow. Guess I could go stare at the Golden Merchant again. Hi, Golden Egg Merchant. How are you doing? Yay, golden eggs. Give me all them golden eggs. Cosmo deserves it. I don't know, maybe when I'm done with this in 2028, I'll actually show off a video with gold. Man, just every time. Hiccup and cough and burp and yawn central. It's crazy. Hey, chicken, chicken, chicken. Wait. Oh my god, Cosmo is a cannibal. The most wholesome of characters is now one of the most wretched. Oh no. Level up. Level up on the blood of your enemies. And the blood of your kin. And the flesh of your kin. Yummy, yummy floor chicken. Crab battle. And going back in time, just in case you didn't know, crab battle actually is. Because of Metal Gear Solid 3. An old new ground splash animation. For Metal Gear Solid 3. Crab battle. Now they just need to take your knives when you throw it at them. It'll become really good. I mean, at least that's where I got crab battle from. Maybe the guy who made that got it from somewhere else too. Shall we bounce with the Heaven Sword? Or shall we slash with Heaven Sword? Which we don't actually have, we don't have... Huh. Well, BSC, your time to shine. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, so I think that's the... the Part of the reason why BFC got a lot of ding in on like tier list and stuff. It does a ton of damage, but a lot of weapons will shoot out further and steal the kills and damage before they can get hit by the big things. But clearly from the videos I've shown with Sheena and stuff, it can do a ton. It's just, it's going to be a ton of damage next to you. And you do need to build for it. No, oh, didn't mean to grab that oral again. Oh, right, Atlanteans exist, but Golden Merchant exists too. Oh, 
Ring around the golden merchant. Pocket full of golden eggs. Yolks, yolks, we all scramble eggs. Wow, you didn't last anything. Well, neither did I, apparently. Wow, you did like 40 damage, huh? That's crazy. Where's my other arcana chest? They're just not a, another arcana here. They had to have died. Only 15 minutes here. Sweet, sweet release. 37.9 million, nothing else comes close. And Cosmo easily takes us up. Three more on the Beswick. 352. Uh, uh, 353. Let's rectify that. 354 on the Beswick. We're inching ever closer to that legendary 400. Nope, those numbers are off. 355. Ha ha ha. Anyway, that leaves 1,577 more to go. Next up, it's Papino, and that's not going to be as remotely easy as that was. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Perhaps enough to leave a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.